We're back with Tim Hafey, Glenn Thrush, and Frank Figluzzi. Um, Frank, one thing that almost blinded you by the end of the committee's work with the public hearings and, and the final transcripts was the volume of evidence developed by the people closest to Donald Trump that Donald Trump knew he'd lost the evidence. Now, there's some recent reporting that suggests a radicalization process in the company of the pillow person and the overstock person and Sidney Powell as he got closer to January 6th. But there is a copious amount of testimony and tape depositions. And I, you can only imagine Jack Smith was able to find more evidence that Trump knew he lost. That seems to greatly enhance his criminal exposure and whatever is coming from Jack Smith. No question the jury is going to hear what you just played, and they're going to hear much more likely about this. But I still remind folks really something important here. A fervent belief in something does not equal a reasonable belief in something, nor does it give you license to commit a crime around your fervent belief. So the jury's going to sit there. They're going to evaluate the evidence. They're going to see what I call charlatan attorneys and advisors telling the president, I think there's fraud. We can get away with this. You should fight. And then they're going to hear about real professional attorneys, including the attorney general at the time of the United States, telling them we've looked at it. We can't find the fraud you're talking about. And then add in some of the statements in the clips you've just played that he actually did understand that he, he lost. And you've got a jury who's going to sit there and go, fervent belief, maybe, maybe not, but not reasonable belief and not licensed to commit fraud, try to steal the election, try to submit alternate slates of electors, try to incite people to breach security at the Capitol. It just won't add up for the jury. Tim, the first time we had the chance to talk to you, I asked if you thought there was enough evidence to charge Trump. And you said, yes, but there's more that Jack Smith has access to. And I asked you if you thought it would be exculpatory, and you said no. Um, again, when you look at what sort of the difference between what